everybody, my name is Isa and this is Moody Eye Makeup channel. Today I'm going to do a review on new eyeshadow palettes from Lisa Eldridge. If you're interested then please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Dum -da -dum. I bought an eyeshadow palette, yes only one because they are so expensive, but um, I've bought with it lip pencil and lipstick. I've got for free this little makeup bag which is gorgeous and this is the eyeshadow palette I have to say that I'm Lisa's Eldridge number one fan you probably already know that but even though I'm always very honest uh, with my reviews also I just want to say that I'm not going to talk about lipstick and lip pencil because I'm going to do that in my next video makeup haul so really don't forget to subscribe so you don't don't miss that this is a makeup look that I've created using this eyeshadow palette and lipstick so now I'm going to switch to me before I've done makeup look the product that I'm reviewing today is this gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I have to be honest here, when these eyeshadow palettes came out I was at first a little bit disappointed. I don't know, color stories r didn't really speak to me and it's a very expensive luxurious eyeshadow palette and I was quite bummed about that just because it's not in my price range. I'm not comfortable to spend that much money, especially as small as this one. And um, I've watched other videos and apparently this is like a very small amount of product in each pan, so it's even more expensive than Charlotte Tilbury or Dior, I think. I hope I'm not wrong packaging is out of this world this is kind of packaging that I like um, that I'm excited about uh, because I think this looks very expensive but at the same time it's kind of like something unique something special I understand that her main target is women who need eyeshadow palette for every day and I'm on board but I was I don't know I just thought that everything looked a little bit boring but then she did a video where she explained uh, ideas behind these eyeshadow palettes um, she did makeup looks um, and all that jazz and I was more intrigued but then um, two eyeshadow palettes caught my eyes and it was Sorcery and Vega and I wasn't sure if I want to buy Sorcery just because I mean it's gorgeous it's, it's the most beautiful eyeshadow palette from them all if you ask me but colors are a little bit more unique and for that price I really wanted to have eyeshadow palette that I could have for every day that I could bring um, everywhere I go that eyeshadow palette with me. For my taste Muse was the one to pick but then I thought I have lots of eyeshadows in that category, more kind of warm brown and pinky shades. Um, so I didn't want to buy that one and now I'm quite happy that I didn't just because I saw that everybody is doing review on Muse and on Sorcery. I'm happy that I decided to buy Vega. Also because I think that cool tones are right now really popular and I have been re-watching Friends and I really can see how it all came back. Trends uh, of makeup and fashion are right now very, very in. Also, Lisa Eldridge did very simple but very beautiful look out of this eyeshadow palette. It has a 24 months lifespan and it, in each pan there's 
a little bit less than 6 grams in it, so 5.7 gram. And what I really like with this eyeshadow palette is that you have these little holes in it and you can uh, take it out, you can replace it with the same colors if you are going out of some color or you can uh, completely customize your palette. One critique that I kind of agree with it is that she's not offering to buy only the case so you can pick and choose from right from the beginning eyeshadows that you want to put in and to create your own like uh, color story. I really also really like that you have names of each shadow at the back. Uh, and now I want to say just a few words about this palette. So Vega is a smoky and celestial composition of multi-dimensional cool and neutral tones that will take you from day to starry night. The cool and neutral grays and taupes in this palette form a naturally defined 90s supermodel look which can be built up to a classic smoky eye using the light catching metallic mink luminous silver and inky matte black for stellar dimension so she has a few different um, textures finishes maybe you can see now what i was thinking about when i said that everything looks boring but let's just wait let's just continue watching and i hope that we all can change our minds <laughs> so let's start so this one it's french gray so this is a velvet shade seamless matte metallic then seamless matte luminous and seamless matte so let's start with the first one it's called french gray I actually really like this shade. So the next one is Smoke and Mirrors. It's medium to deep cool gray slate. The next one is Metallic. It's called Moon Swirl. This is so nice to the touch. The next one is Seamless Matte again. It's called Turbulence. Then the only luminous shade it's called supernova and then again seamless matte in true black oh wow yeah that's black these swatches are horrible so i'm gonna insert probably a better ones right here okay so let's start with a makeup look so we can see how they perform on eyelids i'm starting with french gray and i'm placing this one in my cut crease. So one thing that uh, Lisa Eldridge is very proud of is that these eyeshadows are very easy to use. So you don't need a you don't need to use a lot of time for blending. So the first shadow doesn't have like a ton of pigment in it, which I like because I prefer to build up the shade rather than having a trouble of putting it too much on at first very subtle which I actually really like then I want to place a turbulence this is seamless matte again all over my eyelids so you can see that there's a difference between these two shades the first one it's a true gray but this one it has a little bit more of brown in it and now I'm just going to stretch it a little bit higher here I really like that it has a, a good quality mirror in here and it's large enough it's very easy to hold this palette in my hand which is maybe a little bit weird to hear but actually <laughs> it's very important if you have this one for every day use i want to try all of the shades so i will try to do so even though that i like more simple kind of minimalistic looks um so i will now put on metallic moon swirl this one okay so i will try how it looks if i apply it with a brush or 
if I use my finger. Usually these kind of shades are better to apply with finger. Mm, oh wow, that's so subtle, but so gorgeous. But I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah, you get uh, a better result using your finger if you want more of an effect. Okay, I'm just using a bigger brush to blend this one out. I would agree with everyone that says that there's almost no fall down. And that's also very important, especially if you're doing... If this is like for everyday use. I hate doing my eyes first. Now I really, really want to try this one here. This is called Supernova and it's luminous shade. So it's the only luminous shade, which uh, it doesn't have any like base to it. So I'm pressing it right here in the center part of my eyes. And I really like that it's not chunky. I layered so many eyeshadows and it still doesn't look chunky. So that's very nice, especially if you have mature skin, if you have hooded eyes. I'm going to use a little bit more of that in my inner corner. Oh wow, oh wow! I didn't expect that. <laughs> Now I want to smoke this look just a little bit more. So I'm going to use this one. This is Seamless Matte Smoke and Mirrors. So I'm smoking out the outer corner. Everything is so easy to blend out. That's crazy. I mean, this is so hard to find this kind of uh, eyeshadow quality. Now I want to create more kind of a foxy look. So I'm using the blackest black, lamp black. This is seamless matte. And I'm pulling it out like that. And then I'm using it right here in my, ooh, in a corner. Okay, so I've applied mascara and sorcery lipstick and lip liner. And isn't that the most gorgeous combination with this eyeshadow palette? Because it's so nice. Uh, I know this is meant to be with sorcery eyeshadow palettes. And of course you can mix and match. But I mean, this is perfect for a Vega palette. Because it's that 90s grunge. Um, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so my final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette. I would agree that at first glance, this is, this looks like nothing special. The choice of colors, uh, the layout of colors, um, the packaging is gorgeous. This is so me. <laughs> this is so me. But I just wanted to say that like everybody talks how these are these eyeshadows are nothing new nothing revolutionary and stuff like that and i think that that's just i would partially agree with that but on the other hand i would say that it's so 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 hard to find eyeshadows the quality of sh eyeshadows like that in a way that they are so wearable and easy to use. Especially that second thing, because it has the right amount of opacity and blendability, if that's even a word. It's crazy to me how quickly I've done this eye look. I haven't experienced this even with Natasha Denona or uh, Pat McGrath, those are incredible, don't get me wrong, incredible quality, but they are not easy to use. So you have to have a little bit of knowledge to use those eyeshadow palettes, those eyeshadows. These eyeshadow palettes are perfect for beginners, perfect for everyday use, where you don't have a lot of time, where you just want to do your makeup quickly and to look 
perfect. That's so hard to find because usually with those more, um, I think it goes either way or you buy a very expensive eyeshadow palette and it doesn't have any opacity. It's like you're putting it on and it's like just uh, erasing itself almost or you have those eyeshadow palettes, those um, like Pat McGrath. You want to be very careful not to apply too much so you always have to go back to your hand and tap it off you know. With these you don't. So in that way these eyeshadow palettes are revolutionary because it's so hard to find like that balance you know where you have a, enough opacity but not too much so that it's so so blendable as i said i really like sorcery that's for me the most gorgeous palette from all of these because it's so unique and i would so like to have it then the vega it's right after it in my opinion i think that this kind of eyeshadow palette is the one that at first you're not maybe that excited about but at the end it's the one that you're constantly picking up and using it because it's so easy to use and uh, it comes very handy because you it's not too big uh, you have enough of choice you can create different eyeshadow looks and it's so like small and handy so you can take it with you wherever you go. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you haven't yet, then please subscribe to my channel. As I said, the next video is going to be another makeup haul, also featuring um, this new velvet lipstick from Lisa Eldridge. Uh, and if you would be interested in me doing a full face of Lisa Eldridge, then please comment that down below as well. Uh, have a lovely day and see you in my next video. Bye.